Hello, this is Jim from TechBuzz. We're going to go through this COVID tracker app which is just launched on Android and iOS. A lot of people have been in touch about it and I've downloaded it on my phones last night and today it hasn't really affected the battery at all. So this is what you're going to get when you open the app, but you'll have to sign in, put some information in like your location, your gender and so on, and your phone number if you will, and get on with it really. So on the bottom here you're going to have a small dashboard, you have your updates here, which you can clearly see and you get the national picture by just tapping in here like so and this will tell us what the situation is at the minute and it's pretty simple as you can see so down here you'll have a COVID check-in I checked in already and zero symptoms and that's it there contract tracing then is next which I have active obviously you can go down here and you can see now that we're up to 400k registrations and the more people that use this app the better you can share it from here you can close close contact information here and you'll get this other information here again you can pause the screen and you'll be directed to the hc website down here on the bottom should you need to be and you can upload your random ideas for use if the hc contacts you with a six digit code you can share the app as well with whoever the case may be and that's it in there so into your settings if your contract tracing here I have it updated you can update the settings in here and you'll have your random ideas and again you can pause the screen if you want to read that on it there and that's basically it and I've just put my own phone number in it so one of my phone numbers in it there so you can decide if you have a spare sim or not that is pretty much fine so you've a COVID check-in so this is it here and you can put in the information there and you can confirm the changes your data protection information notice and again you can pause this at any time to read and it will tell you about all the data which people is mostly concerned about at the moment and bluetooth so if you want, you can just pause this at any stage and take a read. It's a pretty long read, but however, it's worth reading if you're worried. And this part here is to tell you what data is collected. And again, 6.1 provided by you. And if you go down here, then you put your sex, age, range, county, and town, and so on, your mobile number, the exposure notification services. And again, it's all information here regarding the legal information and GDPR. And you can actually, when you're finished with the app, you can delete all the information from your phone and delete the app as well. So there's no real problem there if you're worried about the data process. But again, it's a new app. There might be some niggles, but so far I haven't seen any problems. And this is just an idea of what you can expect. And again, if you want to see it in there, just pause the video and you can read. So you have metric data here, which is another point, and personal data and it can be deleted via the app settings. So, there's nothing to worry about there. And that's pretty much it in here. So the terms and conditions then are in here. So again, you have the usual spiel with the privacy information notice and reference we, us or ours, and these terms are used to be Irish. And again, you can scroll down here and read it and that's pretty much what you're going to get there it's a pretty long read again but i'll scroll down so you can pause at any time to read the information if you want i've had a good long read but it's pretty much fine as i said at the start it doesn't ask for app permissions and down here is leave. So if you want to leave, you go in here and press confirm, but you can do the same on iOS as well. You just have to log in a little bit differently and you can read the data 
protection information notice in there. So that's pretty much it. You have the DS, the data protection officer, data controllers, what the app does. And again, we've gone through this already, but you can just quickly go through it again. But overall, it's a pretty clean, nice app so far. And it's good to see there's been a bigger uptake in it. And people might just get over the conspiracy theories that are out there and get on with it and download it and help out in killing this virus, which has been horrific across the world. You know, you can save a life, you can save your own life. You know, it's not too intrusive. If you're using Facebook or Twitter or any apps like that, and you're worried about privacy, you've missed the boat, folks. So get on with it, download it, and let us know what you think. And thanks for watching, just a quick demo of the app, as a lot of people were in touch asking me about it. And that's just a quick walkthrough of what you're going to get on the app. If you haven't downloaded it already, now you can see what the app involves and what it entails. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching.